Hey guys, it's been a while, but welcome back to Uncut BTS. I'm Andrew. I'm Kobe, and this is our side podcast that we have that takes you behind the scenes of our podcast, our businesses, and our lives. It has been a while for sure. Sorry, guys, we said every week, but it's been maybe like a couple months. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's for good reason, right? I mean, I think we've both been really busy on different projects and living life and being parents, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to catch up with you too because it's like we're actually catching up. Like, I haven't spoke with you in a while. Yeah, I've just been seeing like you know you've been on a big production. So tell us about that. Yeah, so I know it's been so long, you guys. Like we haven't even like really recorded in a while too. So that one that you're talking about is this uh, docu series with Chef Ipi Iona, who we had on Uncut. Um, like a year ago, maybe a year ago now. Yeah. So we got approached to do a show and it's going to be on Hawaii News Now and it's eight episodes and it's gone through several like evolutions. But what we landed on was tracing the journey of the ingredients that are found on Hawaii Island. So there's eight ingredients and we're tracing the journey of how the ingredient got to Hawaii and, you know, how it's changed the landscape of the island and the people who are stewarding it now. And then Ippy cooks a... Uh, dish with it at the end of the show so it's been fun that's exciting i know i saw it was like a week-long production yeah and we have a, actually a couple of pickup shoots next week so it was an aggressive timeline as always it's like i always try to push it but we did eight episodes in it's gonna be nine days eight episodes in nine days it's so funny because like the the last day of your production you're like oh i got all this like tape on me all this like sports tape <laughs> i'm hurting right now oh it was it was rough but shout out to like my guys gabe and dustin and cam that they killed it kept the energy up if he's great super lovable community loves him so great on camera i mean he's been on food network and a bunch of shows you know for years so he's a veteran um but yeah i'm excited for everybody to see and the fact that we get to you know shine a light on the farmers and the growers and the ranchers people who have been doing this hard work you know it's so hard to like get up every day first thing in the morning rain or shine um you know and like do this hard work so that we can have beautiful and delicious food on our plate and we can you know, keep feeding Hawaii, basically, so. Yeah, I, I remember in our episodes with Ippy and then even with, like, you know, Jason Peel, like, talking about how, like, farming is something that, like, this next generation isn't really, like, I, I wouldn't say into, but, like, aware of, I guess, you know, like, you know, we eat and, and whatnot, but it's, like, there's, like, this whole other industry that, like, you know, the restaurants and the food industry depends on and and you know with without them can not imagine what like the food landscape is like no totally and that was a thing that came up in the episodes too is that these farmers and growers they've been doing it for generations and it's there's a threat because they don't the next generation doesn't want to carry it on because because of the stereotype of what we see mm-hmm. such hard work and not just that but there's a lot of things that they need to do to remain compliant and all these like tax things that you know oh yeah i didn't i didn't even think about that i was just thinking about more so like not being able to find the work but but i didn't think about like the regulations and everything that like has changed over the years i bet Mm -hmm. so it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to even just like make a living as a farmer yeah like for instance one of the farmers said that if they make more than something like 20 or 25,000 a year they need to have bathrooms and if they make more than that they need to have you know certified Crazy. kitchen like there's so many things that yeah. they need to think about outside of just growing their yeah like like that's already hard in itself and then now you gotta like worry about like all these other things oh that's cool I'm excited to see all those stories like the visuals and whatever you have been teasing looks amazing the trailer you showed me i was like damn yeah no we're happy with it how about you you started like five different businesses since the last <laughs> time we talked <laughs> yeah what the heck it's been crazy I, i've been trying to like diversify my i guess like not my portfolio but like just diversify everything that i'm involved with but like tastefully and like finding that balance too because you know 
I want to spend as much time with Emery as I can. So it's been cool because I've been exploring different partnerships. It's crazy. Redefined Media makes 10 years this year. And like, like, wow, I already spent all those years learning and starting something from scratch, you know, by myself or like with a partner and whatnot, or like Redefined Weddings. And we already started it from the ground up. Like, how do we, like, how do I partner with other people now and, you know, play off different strengths? Like, I'd rather be 20% of a company with like other big players doing their roles and, you know, crushing it. And the whole company grows as a whole versus like, 50% 50% or like 100% you know trying yeah. to like build it yourself so it's been exciting it's been like kind of like out of my comfort zone um you know working with different people and whatnot so a couple of things we started a, a detailing and wraps company touro management you know kind of like in that automotive area okay. um even like that right like after a couple months of like operating with that you kind of see like the the pros and cons and what we need to work on and whatnot so there's going to be some changes in that and then another exciting thing is we're opening a bar, which sounds crazy. Um, <laughs> I remember you telling me about this not too long ago, and I was like, what? I know. <laughs> You're opening I know. a bar. It's I mean, I know that now. that's something that you've wanted to do for a while. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, you know, different from, like, a concept that I would initially do, but I think it's, like, a good, like, feet in the door kind of thing, like, learn, the, mm-hmm. learn the, that part of the industry and whatnot but an opportunity came up um for me to is this see. the first time you're talking about it pretty much yeah i mean i, I kind of released some teasers about it and whatnot but never really shared anything about it so basically this project has been in the works for two years mm-hmm. and the original partner chris you know he was working with courage and another thing and then something else happened and basically all the ducks lined up perfectly where it was like hey i think we should open a bar in Pearl Ridge, Waimakai, it's the food court downtown next to the movie theater, that whole area. Um, you know, Chris um, works with Evan and I at like different establishments like House, Supper Club and whatnot. So he was like, oh, let me bring Evan in because, you know, he's he's into the industry. He knows that that part of that and whatnot. And Chris is like very heavy into like the cocktails and just like the bartending and, and whatnot. So those two are ready. And then Evan was like, hey, we need a third person. I think we need to bring on Andrew for like the branding, the marketing and kind of like the overall business stuff. And so they worked on it for like a year before I came in. And then like this year, they were like, hey, we've been working on this project. We didn't want to like pitch anything to you until we got things solidified. And then like I heard it and I was like, wait, this sounds too good to be true. Uh, You know, like just like Purridge really wanting us there, like providing a space and like kind of giving a lot of support for us to build this out. Was it too good to be true? No, I mean, like, sign the lease. And we're just like, holy crap, okay, now we have a lease in our hands. Like, this is official. Yeah. It's been a lot of learning throughout the throughout the process. You know, a lot of, like, every day something comes up, um, whether it's, like, having to switch contractors or just trying to find material. You know, it's just, like, trying to build this up. And I think we really set an aggressive timeline, so... Today is April 26th. Our, our goal is to serve our first drink May 1st. May 1st? Gonna, yeah, so it's going to be like a, a very soft opening. The whole month of May will be kind of just like learning, building the team, building the systems, like figuring out the kinks. You know, uh, that's like five days from now. I know, yeah. I was there last night till like 3 a.m. trying to oh you know, make things. Yeah, yeah. Chris has been there every day um, till the morning because the crew works overnight. So it's like figuring out things during the day, meeting with reps, meeting with potential musicians, and and just like I don't know, it's 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 exciting. May first, so, we want to make our first transaction and then work out the kinks, and then I think first week of June or June grand opening. No, that's sick! I can't wait to go. So tell me about like the overall concept of it, because I know you're saying that it's in the food court at Pearl Ridge, yeah. so people yeah. can go there get food yeah, from the there time. we don't have to serve food we, we mainly are servicing that whole food court area um the alcohol drinks we're gonna put up tvs for like you know to watch sports and other stuff uh but yeah you can people can kind of come in you know eat food from wherever and then they can have a, like an elevated cocktail a beer um i think down the line we might want to just serve coffee or something but i don't know there's so many possibilities but definitely starting with like 
elevated drinks, good wine, good beer. And then we also have a, we built a stage there. So good live music. You know, we want to showcase all the local talent. And then after 8 p.m. when the mall closes, that's going to turn into kind of like not not like a nightclub or anything, but more just like a lounge. People can hang out, drink good drinks, listen to good music and just hang out. And I don't think there's anything like that in central Oahu yet. So it's, it's exciting. Yeah, that's right. I didn't think about that. Oh, that's so cool. What's it called? Yeah. So the name is it, called Valor, an elevated experience. So Valor, Chris is uh, was in the Marine Corps. He served and, you know, everything. And so, like, when they were thinking of the name, um, they thought the like, Valor was very appropriate. Um, yeah. Know, just, like, the courage and bravery it takes to, like, appropriate do Appropriate for that like area, this. too. Yeah. And so it worked out. I jumped in. The name was already set. And so I just kind of worked on branding, you know, what our marketing message will be. And it's exciting. I, I kind of did that. That's the the sick. Like, kind of like my role now. So like, let's say I come into a company and I get X percentage, but I'll handle all the marketing and branding. And it's been fun. I take it as a challenge because it's like, it's not even, it's not like so much a client now. It's like, yo, it's like your own company and you have a little skin in the game. Like, how do you evolve this? How do you, it's cool. It's exciting. And then. Um, that's back, so you know, the cool we launched, like, a photo lounge. photo lounge <laughs> I don't know it's it's been a very exciting few weeks for sure I'd say so uh, and we're only getting started it's only halfway not even halfway through the year and look at all the things that you've yeah. done already um, back to Valor what's like one drink that you're super excited about because I love going to these um cocktail bars especially those like you know those bespoke i don't know you know those like fancy ones <laughs> yeah, yeah, I and then that. and then I trying mean, their signature one so what's what's yeah, going to be yeah. your guys's signature so what's crazy about that is i mean we we kind of have like an idea of what we want to do but we just have been so busy trying to just get this bar built that no one has had time i mean chris has been working he has like an idea and whatnot but we plan on tasting drinks next week i told him i just want a really good espresso martini Yes. I'm really into that. And and what's cool is, uh, you know, Chris's wife is a direct connect to um, Kona Coffee, a uh, Kona like mountain purveyors. And so we're going to oh, cool. fresh coffee from there, uh, make the espresso fresh. And I think, I don't know, do some different things with that and just do a really good espresso martini. Um, and yeah, I think definitely our, our cocktail list, we're, we're going to have fun with it. I was trying to figure out, like, should we do like fun names for it? Or like, yes, I don't know. Yes, you should. Uh, yeah. So that's like the next that's like the next uh, phase of this part. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Well, if you need somebody to what come and taste, like <laughs> I like it all. I mean, I love an old fashioned. I think yep, when I yep, go to yep, a bar, yep, yep. like the first thing I notice is like what's in their old fashioned. And then I love a mule. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, I think you guys should have like a lily koi lihimoi mule. Oh, yep. We, we definitely have like, like, yep. We be kind of just like brainstorming different like um, ingredients and you know alcohol, what kind of like cocktails you can make. Them. Obviously, we're gonna have all of the classics though, Manhattan, old fashioned, all that good stuff. So. Oh, that's so Maybe exciting! Mai Tai. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, I think just like good energy, good beer, good music, good wine. We have a really good um, wine selection, so that's gonna be exciting. Just imagine, you know, like. Whiskey selection? Oh, yeah, we're whiskey. yeah, we're gonna have a good alcohol selection in, in, in general, so it's gonna be good. Okay. I, I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to taste all these drinks. And I know you don't want to too, so you should just come and I know we'll suffer together. <laughs> we should do an episode there. Yeah, we can, yeah, totally. Well we'll talk about that. Look out yeah, for an yeah. episode at Valor. I'm excited for you and I'm super proud of you. I know how hard you work and I know that you're doing it also with family and all this other stuff that you're balancing and I know it's hard and I really am impressed by you a lot (laughs) so thank you thank you no I I really appreciate that I I you know I think like what I realized in this whole process is I I mean just like what I tell you all the time too right like I don't know how like you're doing what you're doing Uh, all these things that you're doing mother of two like you know flying back and forth doing all these crazy things and like I think I think right now Emery's at a good age where it's like yes like you know make us take care of her and whatnot but we don't have like school activities and things to go to and all that stuff yeah um, yeah I mean every every situation is different I'm just trying to like find that good balance and make it all work and it's and it's you're doing it's, it. it's it's been crazy 
what's been like over the last few weeks that we haven't had uncut bts like what's been like a takeaway something that you've like took away from just life happening i think that one one of the big things for me was i think for a little bit i was like in the mindset of like oh i don't have time i don't have time like i don't have time to do this but then it's more so like if it's important i will make the time and so like then that made me kind of think of like priorities what i want to put my time and energy into so little things like i don't know going on a walk with megan and emery you know just like in the morning before she takes her nap like little things like that like oh, i don't have time like i have to do all these emails or i have to like take this meeting but it's like you know what that walk is very important to me and so it's like how can i make that time yeah because people say that all the time i don't have time i don't have time but you actually yeah. are in control of your time it's exactly, really just yeah. how you are managing that time. yeah how you're managing it and the things that you're yeah. prioritizing kind of like building that that lifestyle you know and that roadmap to the life that you want it's just a little thing it's like i think just like yeah like that little walk like you say so always saying like no i'm too busy you guys go ahead i'm gonna just you know hang out up here and do some work or i'm gonna leave early and go to the office and it's like no like there is time like i, I value this and I, I should make time and like i do have time and i'm gonna do it and you never feel bad about it after you do it. It was never a waste of time. You're never going to be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah. You're always like, I'm so glad I made the time to do that. Yeah. What about you? Any any takeaways or any like anything that happened this past few weeks that kind of just like, oh. So many things. I think one thing that I've noticed, I was walking Ollie today and I was like, you know, the last few weeks i've been doing different kinds of things like working with different people different partnerships different people than i typically do and i think a huge takeaway is knowing that the people well the way i work anyway i really need to trust the people that i'm working with and i feel safe if i can trust a person i feel more creative i feel more uh willing to take risks and things like that when I when I trust my team and client. And I, I think that it's just so important. Over the course of like having Aria Studios, I had opportunities to grow, you know, and become this like big entity. And I just, mm-hmm. I never wanted to do that. I wanted to keep it small and I wanted to keep, to have just enough clients to like take care of my team. And I didn't yeah. want to just, I wanted to be making quality work with quality team members and didn't want to be this big thing. Um, And the people that I do have, I completely trust them. Like their work integrity, just who they are as people, I can trust that, you know, if they say they're going to do something, they're going to do it. And that's huge for me, you know, and just working with different kinds of people, it just reminded me of that. I was like, even if we haven't been working together a long time, you can kind of tell if you can trust a person or not. And I just, I think we avoided some potential bad things, outcomes, when I just noticed like, okay, well, we're not going to work together, right? You know, and just like saying no to things that might have been money makers or whatever, but trusting my gut and being like, okay, I need to not go there maybe with this person or yeah that's that's crazy that you bring that up because that yeah a lot of people have a hard time saying no or like they get caught up in like the opportunity because yes like we always talk about like right seeing opportunities like seeing opportunities and not saying no but then like there are some times where you know maybe taking a step back and like looking at it from a different angle like maybe it's not the right fit and maybe saying yes to that might even like hurt you you know so it's like yeah no it's yeah yeah I mean business is just like I think life and social situations like you see this like shiny thing that like oh that could be fun you know but sometimes there's red flags (laughs) like okay and trusting your gut like okay, I need to follow those, uh, those, the signs that uh-huh, I'm feeling uh-huh. in my body or just like, I'm like, okay, it's not feeling right. And maybe I, we shouldn't continue this or, 
even though it is tempting sometimes, like, okay, there's a lot of money attached to that or a lot of whatever, but luckily it, nothing bad happened, but it was just a reminder that I was like, okay, really need to trust the people that I work with. <laughs> I think it's so crazy again that like you brought that up because I was I, like the whole time I was saying, I was like, should I talk about this? Should I talk about this? Um, but I mean, I'm currently in that situation. Oh, okay. It's just one of those things where, you know, like life happens and things are happening, opportunity comes up and you're like, I, I definitely saw the red flags and, you know, I, I, I and I talked to a bunch of people and whatnot. And I, but I was like, hey, you know what? This is such a good opportunity. I'm going to take it. And so, you know, the whole detail inside and whatnot, like there's there's a lot of partners. And like, you know, I, I, I don't know. It, it, I'm currently in that situation. I saw the red flags. I, I saw it more of a, oh, it's an opportunity. I'm excited to grow it. Like, I'm excited to like do this branding. There's so much potential. And then, I mean, you know, kind of feel like I did my part and nothing else happened. So I was like, ah, oh, you know, maybe it's my time. You know, it just didn't work out. So maybe it's time to leave, do something else, or focus my time and energy into something else. Yeah. So, yeah. Glad nothing bad is happening or anything, but it's like, it. this could have been avoided. I wouldn't say I wasted my time. I would just say, like, I learned another lesson. You learned. Learning. There is a lesson there that you needed to learn. Yeah, yeah. Take my time and think about things before, like, jumping the gun. I get very excited about things. Like, like, <laughs> uh, we know like, this. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. But most of the time, it does work out great. Look at this podcast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we're still going. Yeah, we're still going two years later. Mm-hmm. I just did a podcast with um, Nolan Hong. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, even like that one, I was just like, I'm not doing too many podcasts like outside, like, you know, just us talking, but it's like, when you get to, I, I, fe- I see it from our guest perspective now too, you know, like just being like vulnerable, but also comfortable enough to like share different things. Yeah. It was kind of cool. And like, they kind of like brought a different perspective to like, okay, like what we're doing, it's a great thing. You know, yeah. And it's like it's it's someone's gonna listen to this. Someone's gonna listen to this episode and be like, "Wow, I needed to hear that." Yeah, I needed to hear that, and I'm gonna make some changes, and things will be great. Or you know, like I don't know. It's after that whole podcast too. I was just like thinking the whole day. I was like, "Oh man, that's crazy." I've never. He got me to talk about some things that I never talk about. A lot. Really? Yeah. So whenever that episode comes out, definitely watch it because. You've never heard me talk about that ever in any anything. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's a great interviewer. I learned some things yeah. from him. I'm like, okay, that he is really good when he did this or that. I was trying yeah. not to get all podcasty, like dork out about like interviewing and stuff, because that's like what we do. Like that's what I do yeah, in my yeah, work yeah. too, is interviewing people. And I, so I notice things about people who are really good at interviewing, and that's why I think yeah. I love to listen to other podcasts. But I was trying to not be that like I was trying to just be in the moment which is and very I, hard I, for me I, I, it was like oh man should I ask him a question like should I ask a follow-up question he just asked me a really good question like, should I like come back with a good but I was like ah oh, you know what I'll, I'll be present like I'll I'll answer the question see what what kind of workflow he's got so that was kind of yeah like you said like just to kind of shift your brain from host interviewer to like guest yeah oh, I'm excited to hear that Anyway, you have a heart out seven minutes ago. I know. I saw it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, I'm glad we got to do this. We got got to catch up. We're working on scheduling some May dates. May has been crazy busy for me, too. Oh, my gosh, my you guys. Son. I. <laughs> what? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. I was going to say I'm really excited. May is going to be crazy. Yes, May is going to be nuts. But I'm excited for the guests that we have coming on in May. We can't share yet, but we have some really exciting guests like that we've been tr- trying to talk to for like a while. Yeah, and I got, I got, I got this, I got this guy. You know, we shot his wedding, and we're, we're friends, and you know, I'm trying to get him on. I'm trying to get him on. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy. He just won this pretty cool thing, you know. <laughs> and so I'm sure everybody's trying to get him, but you know, like we we talked about it, and let's see. But yeah, we're excited. Oh, what's crazy? Why my May is so busy? Also, is my youngest sister is graduating college. Oh wow! Uh, what? Wow, that's so crazy. Flying. She's she's in school in Missouri right now, and I'm like, bro, what's up in, in Missouri? But yeah, my youngest sister. 
That's crazy. When I met it's you, they funny. were like little. They were little, yeah. little. It's like they were probably like Haley and Casey's age. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They actually were actually, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, life is crazy like that. Born 2002 to put everything into perspective. <laughs> Holy s- <laughs> A year after I graduated oh. high school. We went to Iolani Fair and like, we saw shirts with like class of 2032. Not uh, nuts. Yeah. 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 Well, I gotta head out. Thank you guys for listening. Thanks, Kobe, for catching up. All right. Yeah. We'll catch up again. Promise we won't go two months without doing this. <laughs> but thanks yeah, for listening, yeah. you guys. See you next time. Aloha.